Do you actually get a workout while cruising on Virgin Voyages? In this video, we are talking about helpful things to know about working out on this cruise. Coming up. By the way, if you're new here, yo, I'm Christine with Where in the World is Seattle to make travel videos every week to help you get up, get up and go travel. So if you'd like to travel, consider subscribing. Make sure you check the description because this is one of many videos and there's something else in there I want you to see. Let's go work out. All right, team, let's talk about the first helpful tip about working out on this ship, which is it's fun. So put on your leotard and grab your shake weight because not every workout needs to be grueling. What you're looking at here is the VHS workout. You gotta stretch to warm up. But what's cool is that they transform a lot of their spaces. So yes, the manor is the place where they have shows, they have their nightclub, but they also transform it into a space that they do one of their workouts. I didn't expect to break a sweat in this class. You don't have to, but I did. But I got more of an ab workout than anything else because I was literally laughing the entire time. And the instructors make it super fun and super inclusive. And whether you're there to just laugh and shake around that shake weight or actually try to get a good workout in, it's totally up to you. But the workouts are fun. The next thing to know is that the workouts are unique. What you're looking at here is the bungee class. It was a ton of fun and it's a great opportunity to try new styles of classes that you may not have ever done before. We had so much fun doing this workout that Meatball actually bought a bungee for the house and so we've been doing it at home also. <laughs> Ready for the next thing to know? Is that these workouts happen all day long. You can play dodgeball later in the afternoon. It doesn't have to be this morning routine. You can build your workouts later in the day. One thing that's helpful, consider your drinking habits. Will you be in the nightclub all night like I was? And then maybe it makes sense to do the afternoon workouts and sleep in in the morning. Were we sober in every single class? No. Did we drink right after we played dodgeball? Yes. Another helpful thing to know that will give you context to Virgin Voyages is they have a detox to retox mentality. So if you're like me and you don't diet and you like to eat large amounts of meat and you like to drink lots of champagne, then you will like this detox to retox idea. Which by the way, if you're having some fun with me in this video, cheers that like button, consider subscribing and definitely check the description because this is one of many videos and there's something in there I might not want you to miss. And let's talk about the next helpful thing. And it's not just about working out. Some of the things that they offer are like helpful classes about nutrition. I used to be a personal trainer and I still learn something new. And the staff that's on the ship is very, very knowledgeable and super awesome. Ooh, and this was cool. What you're looking at here is Meatball and I did a body analysis on their scale. One other interesting thing to know is that working out is part of the ship. In other words, all around the decks. You'll see things that you can use to work out with, or you'll even see things that are almost sculpture-like that are places that you can play and work out and have fun and, you know, do monkey bars. And here's a pro tip in case you missed it from the Q&A video I did with Adrian. Link in the description below. But one thing she said was, so you can't actually sign up for these workout classes until you're on the Virgin Voyage app and on the Virgin Voyage Wi-Fi, which means you are on it when you're checking in at the port. So I started signing up for all of these classes even before I got onto the boat and while I was checking in at the port. Another helpful thing to know is there, there are a lot of options. And one of the days Meatball and I tried doing three classes in one day, we were so sore. I even did one of the stretching classes, but we couldn't do them all, which leads to the next helpful tip, which is if you don't show up to a class that you're signed up for, you owe $10. It's a donation that goes goes toward a charity of their choice. But if you miss a class, you gotta pay 10 bucks. So make sure you actually go to them. And another thing, it's not just workouts and games on the boat. It's also at the beach club. So it was really fun playing things like relay races and beach games at the Bimini Beach Club. So make sure you check that out and put that on your schedule. And don't forget, dancing is a workout too. Come join me in the next video where you can be part of the entertainment and dance the night away. If you had some fun with me in this video, cheers that like button, consider subscribing and tell me in the comments 
below if you would do a workout on this cruise and I'll see you in that next video. Ciao.